The whole time when I was a, a baby, still in diapers with my life jacket on, getting pushed into little whitewater waves on the surfboard, I was learning how to dive too. And my dad, he'd drag me around, I'd hold on to this buoy. So I spent a good part of my developmental years diving by myself. I got to develop my approach completely on my observations, and I didn't have a lot of outside influence. Just watching fish, spending basically years of my life with a mask on, watching animals interact with each other and how they interact with me and how they view me, and the mental challenge of being able to hold your breath, uh, the physical challenge of expanding your lungs and having your body more efficiently use oxygen, and also add in the fact that you're hunting at the same time. I feel that free diving and spearfishing complement surfing, especially big wave surfing. There's similarities and differences, but I think both of them are really good for training your mind. The coolest experience I've ever had diving was the first time I touched a, a great white shark and got on its dorsal fin and it actually swam around with me on it. That was like, it was like blindingly surreal experience I never thought I'd have. Well, I love the ocean because to me it's pure wilderness and I think humans need to have that in their life. You need something that's not man-made, you need something that's natural. We need that connection with nature. It's, it's a part of us that's deep in there. But I see people who are like so stuck in their day-to-day -day lives and their, their entire life is lived within this grid that other humans have made. They're just running in the maze, you know, the rat in the maze. And we have a giant ocean out there that you can go and access and have these real experiences. I, I just highly recommend it to everybody. Obviously, if the oceans go, we go. It's by far the largest part of our planet. Native cultures that had sustainable plans for harvesting and, and maintaining and being custodians of the ocean. And we have to seriously look at that and use some self-control. There's a lot of things on this planet that are worth more than money. The ocean's one of them.